So let's imagine a world where human beings, human agents, are supposed to compete with their own creation or non-human agents, other non-human life forms over limited resources, over the little commons that we need to share on the planet. Creating a responsible AI is well thought and very important conversation that we need to have. A responsibility towards the planet, towards ourselves, towards other life forms. I am Doji Koku Hato from the Philosophy and Classic Department at the University of Ghana in Ghana. Currently a visiting researcher at Bon Sustainable AI Lab, Institute for Science and Ethics, the University of Bonn in Germany. And today as part of the IWE, that is the Institute for Science and Ethics short talk, I'll be presenting on responsible AI and AI materiality. But my concern is to look at some abstraction and ethical problems that I have considered when we try to conceptualize the idea of responsible AI vis-a-vis -vis AI materiality and try to address these problems. First, we'll look at the definition and some assumptions when it comes to responsible AI and AI materiality. Then we'll also look at where are the problems that I have identified? And my problems that I have identified, basically, they are the abstraction and the ethical problems. Then I'll try to address these problems and make some few orientation, recommendation for us. Now, what is responsible AI? I'll base my whole idea of responsible AI on the European Parliament 2023 uh, conceptualization of responsible AI. Uh, they, they try to define responsible AI by saying that it is the rules aimed to promote the uptake of human-centric and trustworthy AI and to protect the health, safety, fundamental rights and democracy from its harmful effect. From what harmful effect? From the AI harmful effect. So basically it, it is a call that's appropriate when we want to look at how human beings are supposed to live, how we need to promote human flourishing, how we need to live within our means when it comes to the production of AI. And basically we all acknowledge that AI has some fundamental problems. And if we are not responsible in our, in our, in, in our designing of AI, in our deployment of AI, in our training of AI, we have a lot to battle with in the future. So having responsible AI is well in place in today's discourse, it's well in place in today's discussion about how AI is really changing the landscape of society, of humanity, of ecology, of all that there seems to be the risk on this earth. So the European Parliament 2023 uh, caption of responsible AI will be my foundational definition. Now, if you look at their definition, there are some assumptions that I would like to make. The first assumption, which I will call the foundational assumption, has to do with human flourishing. If you look at the definition from the European Parliament, the definition is focused on human flourishing. Everything is about the human species. Everything is about the human attention. Everything is like AI is built for our sustainability. And of course, this has been the de uh, discourse for a decade, more than a decade. AI for our sustainability, AI for good, AI for this. It's all about good life, it's all about human beings. Based on this foundational assumption that I will infer from their definition, it's also the fact that if you look at the inspirations and aspiration of why responsible AI, its meaning and its figuration only include only human beings. So it's like everything is restricted to the human being. 
So responsible AI is for the human being, which is fair, because we created it. Three, the term responsibility that is used and implied in the definition generates a lot of normative problems. You cannot just look at responsibility without asking some ethical questions. So these are the three assumptions that I will make or infer from their definition when it comes to the idea of responsible AI. When it comes to AI materiality, the only concept that comes to mind when it comes to AI materiality has to do with the physical infrastructure of AI. And I want to base this on Crawford's work on the anatomy of AI, where he talks about uh, 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 the logical conclusion that we need to make when it, we talk about AI. That AI is not just its non-physical aspect, it also talks about its physical aspect. When we talk of AI, we are talking about the fact that AI is, is the computer. AI is a camera. AI is a, is, 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 is a data service center. You know, so if AI is a data service center, is a computer, is a microchip, is the physical thing that we see, that means that AI, one way or the other, intersects with other things in the human space, other things in, in, on the planet when it comes to the ecology. Because for us to build this physical infrastructure, a physical infrastructure, we need to extract critical and strategic minerals to build this physical infrastructure. So the very material sourcing for the physical infrastructure of AI should be also included in the whole idea of responsible AI. For a long time, we have tried to divorce, separate the physical inf uh, 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 aspect of AI from the non-physical aspect of AI. And when we are talking about responsible AI, as usual, we only focus on the non-physical aspect of AI. That being the case, the question is, where are the problems? Why do I see the problems? Uh, for, for us to answer the question, the problems in the definition of responsible AI, in terms of its figurations and meaning, we need to ask ourselves, why are we building AI? You can rephrase the question and ask, why do we need responsible AI? Based on the definition of the European Parliament, of course, responsible AI is because of human flourishing. It's for our happiness. It's for our good life. So based on this template of human flourishing, happiness, good life, this Aristotelian idea, we have consistently exclude non-human agent from the idea of responsible AI. And we have been able to do that because we have consistently as well divorced the AI materiality from the non-physical aspect of AI. Because when we talk of AI, we always talk about the non-physical aspect of AI. And no one talks about the physical aspect of AI. So when we talk of responsible AI, our conception is all about the non-physical aspect of it. And because of this, I see an abstraction problem. That is the conceptualization of AI is either a categorical mistake, or when we talk about responsible AI, we are using the word responsible in terms of a technological metaphor, like trustworthy AI. We don't mean what we are saying. It's just a technological metaphor. But if it is not a technological metaphor, and the word responsible AI means responsibility, then I think that we have an abstraction problem, or it's a categorical mistake that we have made when it comes to responsible AI. So the first problem that I've seen is abstraction problem. The second one is the ethical consideration of the term responsibility. How responsible is responsible AI? when it comes to the havoc that is caused because of the materiality of AI. This ethical problem needs to be dealt with 
We can't have an ambivalence when it comes to the materiality, the hidden cause, the damage that is caused by extracting these critical and strategic minerals needed for building this physical infrastructure of AI. That said, if these are the problems, how do we address them? To address them, I'll ask a question again from a philosophical, ethical way. What could be and what ought to be responsible AI? If we are able to answer this question, then we, could be, we will be able to avoid this abstraction problem and ethic, uh, ethical ambivalence. Now, the first thing that I will ask policymakers, researchers, those involved in regulating the AI industry is to rethink of deconstruction of human flourishing. We need to have a reverse thinking. Yes, AI is for our sustainability. Now the question that ha has been asked from our even institute, Sustainable AI Lab, is that can we also sustain AI? So sustainability of AI should also be part of our thinking. To do that, it's time for us to deconstruct the meaning of human flourishing. How do we flourish when other life forms are not flourishing on the planet? Two, we also need to expand the figuration, the categorization of responsible AI to include the hidden cause of AI due to its material sourcing, due to its physical infrastructure. This could be and ought to be responsible AI. The third thing is for us to integrate other life forms. Perhaps when we talk of what is the good life, that we build responsible, we are supposed to build responsible AI for our health, for our safety. We need to include the measurement of the commons. How healthy is the planet? How healthy are other life forms? The fourth thing is the current thought in philosophy to us well when it comes to the idea of ethics of repair, which has a strong relation with sustainable AI. A new pathway of thinking of how we need to sustain our social and ecological domains. And to do that, one way is to start repairing the gadget instead of throwing them away. We need to learn to repair them. And this could also help to reduce the consumption level of these AI technologies in our, in our lifestyles. In conclusion, I want to invite all policymakers, all researchers, to rethink of this AI materiality. It is key for us to understand this concept so that in future policy decisions, we need to include the harms caused by this AI materiality. So that when we talk of responsibility, we mean either causal responsibility or remedial responsibility because of the hidden cause of AI when it comes to its material sourcing. Thank you very much for listening. And I'd like to use this opportunity to ask viewers to, to follow us on our series. Uh, 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 there are other ones coming. We have other researchers in our institute at the lab working on AI in healthcare. Others are talking about the concept of sustainability, e-waste, feminist uh, 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 relation with AI. And, and they will come one, one, one after the other. So I'll, I'll ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I have further discussions with us. My link is just under this video. Just send me an email. Let's have further discussion for further clarification and philosophical discussion on other aspects of AI. Thank you very much for watching. 
Bye.